Mars' characters really suffer in this matchup, if you ask me. You think so? Uh, I, I, I think you so. Think so? Yeah. 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 Da -da -da. yeah. It's just like, I feel like the, the formula to be good against Zero Suit Sam, it's like even going back to Smash how about How about 60% in five seconds? Is yeah. that a thing? That's what I mean. Gone, like, in, gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> gone in 60%. Thank you, yeah. I, yeah. Try, I try, bro. I feel like Zero Suit is one of those characters who, like we were talking about in DM set, struggles to hit tiny characters. She yes. suffered against Pikachu in the last game. And yeah. all of our men, definitely among them, especially because he's keep away based. Yeah, even some weirder characters, like even in the past, like in Smash 4, Nairo struggled against like, you know, Little Mac players, like those weird, like small, fast characters that can uh, output a lot of damage. And right out the gate, uh, you know, Olimar's kind of like being in a war trench. He just kind of explodes sometimes, and the buzz could not have asked for a better start than that right now. Now, nah, here's the thing, though. I mean, Mars can take a stock right here. You know, if he gets if he gets an air flip kick, that's it. You know what I'm saying? The, bu the buzz obviously playing Olimar is super light. Zero Suit is a powerhouse character, but the buzz, like the reason he's so good at Smash is just the way he's so calculated and his spacing is just so immaculate. Finding that Nair into Flip Kick is going to be next to impossible just because the buzz never wants it to happen, you know? Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's not going to look pretty to everybody, but the buzz does not give a hoot about what you no. think. He's such a good player, dude. It doesn't matter. This is not a player who lets you hit him very easily. I mean, I know that sounds yeah. kind of generic, but of course, this guy is the master of defense for now three games in a row. Yeah. A lot of people have lamented fighting him, sometimes even <laughs> watching him just because of that. And now we see him really playing that style to a T. Is it just me too or in the, in this game I'm having a lot harder time getting rid of Pikmin when they're on me. Like trying like I feel like my hitboxes are I don't know, and I've yeah. kinda noticed it in this in this set in this game so far. I think they are a little bit more durable from what it seems, but uh, like, like evasively, like you can't oh wow. Yeah, I need to see the science on that. Yeah, I need it too. <laughs> but I would ooh, ooh, I'd be inclined to believe it. Yeah. Up, yeah, up smash, wow, okay. 111 yeah. though. Yeah, the French tickler, man. That is now yeah. a, a kill move. Yeah. Shouts to TK, who I believe is the one that coined that. <laughs> that is so funny, man. When the first time I heard that, I was like, what? Literally one of the best. He is, he is one of the best heard. commentators at naming moves, like 100%. Remember the Simon Belmont back yep. in the day? It was yep. another Zero Suit one. That was TK, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I if think it wasn't, so. then my bad. Yeah, well, you know, Woo! props to whoever it was, and props to the Buzz taking yet another stock off Mars here. So healthy, only 24% at the time. Now 35 and two full stocks to work with. That purple Pikmin so irritating to deal with. The only one that doesn't latch, but still extremely useful. Mars continuing to put on the fight right now. Yeah, he's dude. He's looking super sharp in this last stock actually. The jab strings too. The buzz dropped the shield of that twice in a row now. I'd be surprised if he did it again. And it looks like Mars is just kind of flailing, trying to get these Pikmin off him, trying to hit the buzz at the same time, almost trying to manage where he's trying to strike, what he's trying to do. Oh god, <laughs> that Pikmin bit it, dude. He got whipped <laughs> right in the head. And you know what, man? Let's the reason that Zero Suit struggles against tiny characters, and a lot of characters this can be said about, because they sit so low to the ground and her aerials are like very narrow. Like that, Think about yeah. like her back area. She has to wait for so long before it's actually going to connect. Yeah. Like that fastball aerial is going to go through. And it gives Olimar a ton of time to react. And especially a character like this guy, he can just preemptively up smash you. Oh yeah, without oh, a doubt. Dude, yeah. I agree. That was very good analysis. Yeah. And, uh, yep, the whip is not going to get rid of that yellow one. Oh, hold on. Woo! Yeah, he's he's Shmoof. got the buzz on the, on the moves I right now. I going to say schmoofing. Nah, I got to keep you guessing. Let's make schmoofs. Let's make schmoofs, man. <laughs> Let's make schmoofs, too. We're all commentating that. Right, Max? Um. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, playing into the ground. Should be, okay, I'll be sure. Why not? Okay, well, you know, Mars has got a shot here. That's for sure. It's going to be really tough, though. I feel like. Again, like it's just been a game of responses. Mars, I mean, he's got 133. Is gonna be a lot, yeah. and, and he's gonna eat a lot more damage. I mean, he's just got Pikmin. Oh god, he yeah. down tilted. This is not what I expected. Bonus hits for Debuzz at this point. The blue up throw is already gonna kill. Right. All his actual kill moves are already do the job. But now he's setting himself up for maybe like a straight hit to just take him out by chance. Uh oh, Ooh, but oh, Mars with the chance. Of course, this is not Smash Four. That combo is right. not as potent as we're used oh to it being. Uh -oh. No way! No way! He's ah! I love it. I love okay. it. I love that. I love that. that. I, love, I that. love that he went for that. He knew that if he right. <laughs> The <laughs> reaction was godlike, dude. He was just like, what the hell? That was such a Mars play, dude. Can we see that again, please? Thank you. Yeah, so, dude, this so he time. knew opportunities against the buzz that's, um, don't happen very often. So he, he just really, really went for it. Like, that's such a Mars versus the buzz thing right there. Like, 100%. Like, Mars seeing one opportunity, like, I can do this, you know, eight-mile yeah. stuff. Like, Mar you only get one opportunity, <laughs> one shot. He went for it. It didn't work out. But yeah. now Mars, I mean, it's a best-of-five set. Which is tough, especially when you lose the first one to the buzz. Uh, 
Yeah, so he's got a couple. He's got another Ike. You know, another character you can go with his Ike. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna want to though. Like Ike isn't the fastest dude in the world. Olimar tends to struggle against sword characters though. Characters that can outrange him, but tend to give him you know fits for years. But yeah. Mars gonna stick with uh, you know the Chozone one as he's made his uh, his in-game tag before. Mars, to this day, still has some of the best like, controller tags of all time. Hamster's my favorite. Hamster's Hamster, great. Hamster's so good. That's, that's what his brain is. That's what he yeah. said. It's just the hamster running on the wheel. Host, like a Host Delgado in that episode of Billy and Mandy. The what? I'll, anyway. I'll show you later. Okay. That's all right. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> game two, going back to Battlefield. Mars, I mean, his last sock was definitely the best sock of the set, which means he's the one that's adapting and doing well. If he made like the best play of all time, he could have won that game. Well, he could have stole that game one, but he didn't. So we're here in game two. The buzz is up. These he jabs. Oh my god, the pressure from the buzz so good. Oh, that poor white Pikmin <laughs> did not make it. <laughs> he just yeah, threw him right off. Yeah. Dude. One, one, one like, one prayer for the white Pikmin. <laughs> These parries are great from Mars, following in the footsteps of Light, or maybe not necessarily following, but echoing Light's play and that he's really good at that. In New England, it's called the Hasman. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we could get that out of the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Put your client Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back up, dude. I'll bring it back up. Don't worry. Do you get royalties on that? Or, uh... Yeah. So is your it. shield just your hazmat suit? Is that what it is? Ha! Ah! <laughs> and back on the solo cast. <laughs> uh, Koopa, take it away. All right. So the, the good thing here for Mars is that he's at least keep this game like much closer than he did out the gate uh, than the last one. What a tricky situation to be in. In the corner against the buzz like that, you know he can react really quick. He can do a forward air, he can just smack you away, he can up smash, he can grab you and kill you. Like, look at this lineup that he's working with. Purple, yellow too. Yellow is really good against Zero Suit, just ignoring all the electricity that she's got. Oh. Look at this dance they're doing, man. They barely exchanged blows in the past 10, 20 seconds. And you can see it's just because ah. neither of them wants to commit. <laughs> Olimar's big fist coming through, dude. It's like Bayonetta's up smash, but up B. Ooh. He did it. He really did it. He took the lead. Let's go, Mars. That was really well played, man. What, wave, and he's flexed with the wave land on the platform. Did he do that? Yeah. Is he allowed to do that? Oh, God. <laughs> <In First>. no <laughs> way. Hey, as we saw in Genesis on the Meta Scouter stats, which, by the way, is pioneered by Shi Deng, who is a uh, yeah. large part of this uh, this venue here, Balance Patch. Yes, sir. The first stock determines so much in Smash, right? And Mars he took what, like 80 damage right out the gate in the first game. Pretty much the same thing in this one. Being able to close that out means so much, but to Buzz already firing back. Gotta make those moments last as long as you can, build the extra credit. Especially against a character like Almar, who's not gonna be able to Ooh. break your zone, approach you with anything threatening. See the Buzz weave around the neutral B from Mars? That was really good, dude. Yeah, that's the first thing he's like overshot the ledge and like gone for a high recovery like that, so. Definitely a good card to uh, save right there. The jab has been the go-to option after a Neron shield from Mars, and DeBuzz has been dropping shield a little early afterwards. I think he's scared of getting grabbed, which obviously I don't blame him. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, what Zero Suit's going for Neron? Oh my god! Paralyzer F smash, though, they'll definitely be looking for that. And it Yo. seems like there's a little bit more of a um, of a window yeah. to combo off the Paralyzer in this game. Well, not only that, but he ran up and he stopped on a dime perfectly. Like, the way he, the way Mars spaced that out was amazing. He's, he knew exactly yep. what he was doing. That Chats to be able to smash attack after uh, a run. What's up? He keep yep. to be able to cancel the, uh, the run with a smash attack. So. Good recovery by the buzz there, actually. That'll be way floated. It's nice. Just outside of Mars' reach. Look at this, too. Like, Mars using the most, you know, all the battlefield platforms. Just kind of waiting for a good opportunity to go in and fight against Jeez. the buzz. Yeah, that was yeah, a great map. And this is where I feel like, because I was just going to say that, it's definitely not out of the woods yet for the buzz, because Olimar just racks up so much damage so quickly. It's just a lot to account for, especially dude. when you're a character that, like, if you miss a grab, you're just asking to get punished for it. Yeah, dude, and the purple Pikmin just hits so hard, too. And the grab kills, obviously. Like, Olimar, Olimar's very, very scary. Yeah, strangely equipped for comebacks, despite being a zoning-based character, which and normally isn't their strong suit. And super light. Like, there's just a lot of things that kind of you wouldn't think it is. Up, uh, oh, okay. okay. That was definitely a Mars up B. Yeah, skipped a couple floors on the elevator right there. <laughs> yeah, right. But the buzz still hanging on. Ooh. Ooh, keeping the pressure up. Forward tilt saying, get off of me, man. This is he my air game dodge. to take. Oh, you know what, though? Olimar's tricky because you can air dodge, and then you have the whistle anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's, like a, it's like a backup. Uh, it's like an emergency plan, you know? And the order in which he's going to use those Ooh. things Ooh. remains ambiguous. Two wow, that move restor Two restored to its former glory, man. That's right. Well, 150, he's working with the 150 Rage, too, so that really helps out. But, man, what a response from Mars. I mean, running it back not only to the same character, but the same stage and uh, making a two-stock statement. That was huge, dude. It's, you know how hard it is to two-stock to Buzz? He's to Buzz a monster, man. Yeah, man. He's one of the best players in the world throughout yeah. all of Smash 4. That's right. 
And still beast in his own right, obviously, in Ultimate. And there he is, the Thinking Yeah, has man. not placed lower than fifth place at any of the events that he's gone to. So. Ooh, the Thinking Man. pretty impressive, yeah. Of course. Especially um, in a game that's like obviously still very fresh. There's a lot of turnover amongst yeah. the top. Uh, the Buzz being that pillar of consistency. He's always been great at figuring out games, too. That's why yeah. you'll always see like new games, Ooh. say Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus Uprising. Uprising. Did you see the synchronized headset put on? That was sick. That was no, but we're definitely going to have to replay that. Can you play that again, Devin? I know you can, Devin. You got the technology. Ready? Synchronized, 100%. Ready? Woo! Oh! That, that's like the, the starting screen that we're about to see now. Well, like when, uh, when, when Como and Zero both took a sip out of their water at the same time, I felt that. Out of the same water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, here, same yo, okay, yeah. here we go. Game, game three. <laughs> Nair. Oh, God. Oh, it's Palutena. There she is. Making her grand debut. That's 43% on the board, super quick. It's crazy that that one game that Mars got, I mean, it wasn't two stock, but still, not the, the most dominant game I've ever seen. It's enough to scare to buzz off Almar. I mean, maybe it's a stage that he likes. Maybe he's just like, you know what, I'm giving Mars the respect. I'm gonna you know, try the Palu, see what happens. This game, it's a five game set, so you know you can you can gamble on a secondary, or a co-main, I would say, for, for him. I feel like he's just matchup dependent. He doesn't really favor one or the other. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a decent amount of that here Ooh. in top eight. We actually saw a good amount of it in top 48 as players had a lot of games to mess with. Some people were trying different counter picks. I just think the way, the, stages. the way the tethers interact with shields in this game was oh, so God. funny. Oh man, great catch right there with the up air. That was amazing. I mean, being all the way up there with Zero Suit, who's a pretty light character, like you're just kind of, you know, getting caught like that, you're going to lose the stock very quickly. The bus going for the parry there, I feel like you could have just countered and sent it back at Mars, you know? Just reaction, counter. Sorry, I think he just charging. maybe didn't want to deal with his shield. <laughs> he didn't hit. wanna. <laughs> yeah. A B, okay. Ooh, continues to chase. I love when he does the reverse up, up air too. He spaces the other way. So why not? Yeah, it's also good for certain follow-ups because the uh, ending frames of the move obviously come out much closer relative to the back hit. Right. So Ooh. you get some things you normally wouldn't. Oh, jeez. Uh, he's swinging, man. Those boots, luckily, they never run out of juice like uh, rubs. Get your girl a pair of heels like that if you want to impress her. Uh, Valentine's Day, man. Maybe next year. <laughs> They're on sale now, probably. That's true. Maybe after I become like the CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> Some space age yeah, I fashion said, right I there. I said next year, Max. <laughs> All right, you're right. I'm glad you have such high hopes for me. Elon well, Musk, hit I me believe, up. I believe in you, man. Oh my god, the buzz though. I'm telling you, this stage with Pally was so good. You see the way he just comboed and pushed Mars all over those platforms, used them to his advantage? Look at this, man. The yeah, buzz, again, mm. just being a wall. Like, that's just what he does with every character he plays. And looking like Shades of the first game, where the buzz gets the lead and it just kind of starts to snowball away from Mars a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's like combo, oh god. Combo like the way DeBuzz plays, the characters they're playing, and the way that Mars plays too. Like That's just kind of the way things will go, especially Zero Suit. Like Things can kind of just get away from you if you uh, just don't start hitting your stuff. But Mars has been working on his consistency a lot. He leveled up a ton. Uh, like we said, you know, last weekend in California, playing against Leo a lot. Playing against a lot of top players in that region. You can see the, the fruits of his labor here. Yeah, it's always been a confidence thing with Mars. Like okay. when, he's, when all cylinders are oh running, he can beat anybody. Ooh. It's crazy to think that a player as good as Mars still can like level up a lot, you know what I'm oh saying? Oh my god, yeah. Especially in a new game like this, just expand your brain, start thinking of things you it's, never had to before. It's funny, you guys are both players too. Hold on, wait, okay, back to Yeah, it's Oh my god, jeez. Not like that. But anyway, you guys are players, like, sometimes it's just like one bit of advice or one friendly or like one long session and you're like, wow, I learned so much. And if you're yep. doing that, imagine like going out and like, Going to California and playing with like all the top players like all day, every day. You know what you're gonna level up no matter. Oh God, what excuse me? Buzz. Yeah, that was amazing. By the way, if you want to see Mars do that, you can vote for this man for Summit. I'm saying. Yeah, you, you guys got to do that, okay? Please, thank you. <laughs> anyway, that's our pitch. Yeah, that's our pitch. Man. Yeah, that's it's what this whole special. tournament has been based around. Actually, that's why it was hosted. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, it's just a Mars fundraiser. Oh my God, the Buzz threw out a forward air and Mars said, Nah, and he just back aired him and took yeah. away the stock. That was eat, sick. eat these heels, baby. Yep. Oh, got that Zare into a forward air, but nothing much after that. Mars so close to evening this up. It's the thing about Zero Suit, like obviously she lost a lot of stuff that she was really good with in Smash 4, but she still has really, really good burst movement. Like her dash, her short hop, like everything is so quick that she, oh, jeez, oh, man. Could have God. burst the buzz's mind right there if he managed to land bubble. that. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> burst his bubble. Anyway. <laughs> I almost did, but I was like, you know what? I would have liked it, man. I said it for you. Oh, hold on. Where's Mars going? Yeah. Back onto the stage. The buzz. Oh, God. Whipping that forward tilt. Mars. Ooh. Oh, God. If that Nair hit, it might have been it. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to catch on a little bit. So. 
Forward air, too. That forward air has been so good. Oh, oh, where is he going? Oh, my God. Good job by the buzz not getting hit there. Yeah, Zero Suit Samus is like one of those characters that does have the liberty to do that. <gasps> oh! Look at Mars, a little fist bump pop off. Man, the buzz was playing so well in that game. I can't believe Mars came back and took that. But like we said, Zero Suit is such a momentum-based character. Like, she can be behind by, like, two stocks, and then suddenly, oh, whoa, she tied it up. She just hit two nares, two flip kicks. A couple <laughs> Wait, of Wait, I'm dead? Yeah, right. Uh, good game. Mars just needed to get his head on straight, and... He ran away with the game immediately afterward. I saw about 20 seconds, maybe even less, before the end of the game. Mars finally took the percent lead. Yep. He had 75 damage on him. He put the buzz to like 80-something off a of forward air. And I was like, oh, this might be the turning point of the match. And we're going to see him go back to Olimar. Yes, very sensible here. I like that. Playing a tall character against Zero Suit, especially a tall character without great landing options like Palutena, right. very dangerous game. Olimar, obviously, his landing options aren't great, but at least you've got Whistle plus Air Dodge. Kind of a tricky combo to juggle. And then you've got all that residual damage from far away. This character not the best equipped to deal with that. The, like you said, she does have good burst options. She can break the zone. Yeah. But what do you do after that on a tiny character like Olimar? Yeah. Where you've got to take so much time to wind up to swing those safe aerials. That's right, man. Yeah. And what was once, like, uh, as we see Town and City here, what was once a breathing ground for early kills for Zero Suit Samus, oh, uh, yeah. probably not going to be the case anymore because it's both this character and Zero Suit. I thought he was just about to prove you super wrong. Dude, right? I, I thought that was going to happen I, so Reverse bad. psychology did it on purpose. That's right. Don't yeah, me. even though it's a high ceiling now, he's still just trying to psych him out into thinking he could die at any moment. The bus was kind of in a sticky situation there. He only had a purple Pikmin, which obviously purple Pikmin's very powerful. Mars only had 20%, though. He, he needs some other soldiers to get in line here, get some grab combos, get some aerial something, because I don't know, man. Something that's so powerful about Olimar is like having a diverse lineup, using different tools in different situations. So if you only have a purple Pikmin, Mars knows exactly what to do. But just like we're seeing, the buzz now going to work, making full use of the stage that he's picked. Yo, I definitely just saw Zero Suit kill a uh, yellow Pikmin with the Paralyzer. Did that yeah, happen? that was wild. That just happened. I seemed it. I saw so it. Maybe, so maybe they just resist damage in this game. Maybe. Anyway. I don't know. Yeah. Talking well, about whatever. We'll Can we get a botanist to explain how this works, please, or something? <laughs> yeah, some kind of nerd. Um, <laughs> please come we'll through. Take, we'll take any nerd. <laughs> Comic books, oh, whatever you got, bro. The what, buzz, a, what a stock though, from that, the buzz. Yeah, all the hit lag from Mars kicking the Pikmin just gave, gave the buzz ample time to run in, react to that, close out 56. the stock. 56 already. Did you call it a Kickman? Uh, anyway. Yes, uh, only because I was stumbling over my words. Kicking a Pikmin, you know? Pikmin. Give me a break, Matt. All right, fine. You got it, <laughs> and back in the solo cast with Koopa. Needless to say, uh, the buzz coming out the gates, once again, very, very strong in this game four. Maybe that Palutena was just kind of to refresh his mind a little bit with Olimar. I've seen, you know, players do that where they'll, they'll switch off to another character, just kind of like hit yeah. the reset button. But sure. But hey, you don't want to put yourself on game point either way. No, so. regardless. Yeah, not the best reverse psychology or psychology well, in any aspect that I've seen. I wonder if Mars' bands were different too, because he thought he was gonna stay uh, the buzz was to stay uh, at Palu. Maybe. So he Possibly. got he got town and city and he's like, fine, I'll take I'll take town and city and I'll go I'll go Olimar. Like that's definitely possible. That's the thing, like we're gonna see that a lot more in Ultimate because so many people main more than one character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, you can see absolutely. That everywhere man. There's gonna be eighty characters at least at the end of this man. And all of them are gonna make top eight except for Piranha Plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Piranha Plant is trash and dumb to play. It's a fun character, though. I like playing as Piranha Plant. Hold on. I wasn't going to pay for it, though. I'm going to be real. Anyway. Anyway. So kind of a, a rough hill for Mars to climb right now. Oh, God. Just kidding. That? Piranha Plant's great. You see that down angle forward tilt? I love when he does that stuff. So good. Yeah, the, the, the kicking the mud off your shoes when you walk right. in the house. <laughs> Just polite. OK. Man, Mars fighting from behind at this point. Jeez. Not sure how much I like his odds. But oh, oh yeah. OK. Oh, oh, no, the thanks. Pikmin. Yo, that yellow Pikmin, poor one out, man. <laughs> it got dunked on super hard. <laughs> that yellow Pikmin was a red herring right there because I certainly thought Olimar was dead. Is that Olimar? They're wearing the same color, like, yeah, his man. yellow suit. <laughs> Get that, give that yellow Pikmin a raise. Uh, well, I would. Yeah, he's been putting it work this yeah. game. Back somehow oh somehow my God. dying Hold on. The Just like that. Just like that. And just like that, 73% on Mars. This is very doable, without a doubt. Oh, my God. 11 to start is really good, dude. I'm saying. It's not a lot, but like it's you're starting to make a dent. You're was starting the, to crack that helmet. Was that the first instance of pair of uh, side B of bringing you back inwards? Because I'm pretty sure Mars hasn't been getting that hitbox the uh, set every time he's used it. I think it's up to the Zero Suit player to do it, right? They they hold oh, B or something no, like yeah, that. Yeah, wrong. I'm pretty sure it's hold their on, choice. Hold oh, hold up though. Yeah, that's a big whip by Mars. Oh, God, that yeah, he was me. Oh. cooking. <laughs> the little noodle comes out, man. Noodle boy. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, Mars. 
trying to find his way in. It's so hard against the Buzz. Oh, good air uh -oh. dodge by the Buzz. He's uh -oh. getting an air uh -oh. back there. Excuse air. me. Mars on the hunt right now. Fair, trying fair. To oh, oh, oh the Buzz. Oh, oh! oh kick. What an incredible play off stage by Mars. Getting to man, he was behind by so much. The Buzz was surely going to lock that game, and he was playing so well. Mars just countered with the offense. All zero suit Samus. Well played by Mars, keeping his streak going in this last weekend, man. It wasn't a fluke, of course. Beating the Buzz, super hard thing to do. Mars does it right here. Three one. Look at that, man. That was so good. <laughs> that blue Dude. Pikmin was spooked, man. <laughs> what presence of mind, man. He got right off the edge into another flip jump, into a flip kick, closing it out. Mars absolutely on fire in the last seven days, or give or take. And that trip Quality. to SoCal definitely paid off, man. Oh, Let's is call it midnight it. yet? Okay, it would be like eight days soon, but the thing.